Hello, I'm here with Anne Main, who is our MP for St Albans. Um, for women thinking about running in the next election, what should they be doing in preparation? Uh, buying a very comfy pair of shoes, buying something that's waterproof, and a big bag to stick your leaflets in, because you're going to be out there with your team, leading from the front, leafleting, getting wet and campaigning. And how important do you think it is that women should have in, uh, work experience away from politics? I think it's vital. Uh, I used to teach, I was also a counsellor, I'd also done charity work as well. And I think being a mum, uh, being able to chat to parents at the school gate, saying you've used local hospitals, you understand their issues, it's hugely important. I think experience is a great thing. Whatever it is, it will have things that you can bring to bear in your job. And what is the reality of being an MP, both good and bad? Good and bad. Uh, you do need a bit of a thick skin, keep your personal privacy, it is vital, your family who you're going to use and abuse, get them delivering but also not seeing as much of them as you'd like, are going to be your best support because people, the thing about the job is once you're at the top people want to knock you off, the only way you get to be an MP is by getting rid of another MP, so it's a bit of a brutal game, so you need your family, you need your friends, you need to call in all those favours and network like mad. And what was your proudest moment so far as being an MP? Getting rid of um, nearly a 5,000 majority in 2005 after two other men had had attempts and not made a dent in it. And the way it's done is looking at the community, seeing how you can get to know them. We women are good at this. Use our soft skills. They are really, really effective out there campaigning. Uh, what three words would you use to describe the qualities needed to be an MP? Tenacious outspoken and convicted. Convicted, <laughs> I was going to say convicted, it's not a good one actually, but, but have conviction. Brilliant. And uh, for women who actually didn't get through last election, you know, what is their advice in terms of getting involved in politics but not as an MP? I would absolutely encourage, if you haven't stood as a councillor, stand as a councillor. You will learn how to campaign and you get to know how local government works. Because believe me, if you want to get local people engaged, Go build something. Most people get hugely engaged when something happens in their community they don't like. By getting involved in a local council, you get to know how it works, how the funding streams work, and how to try and stop something you don't like happening locally. And so that way, I think, is an excellent route into politics. It's how I started. I never was political before. I was asked to get involved. And believe me, I learned a huge amount. Why is it important that women should enter politics and there to be more of them? Because I think we see things slightly differently. Um, you know, I've got a daughter with a baby. I think you men have got no idea to multitask like we've got. I think we understand people's lives an awful lot better. We're often the carers, the doers, the charity workers, the movers and shakers within society. And I'm not denigrating what men do, but I think we, we have an insight into a lot of worlds that often men don't dip their toe in toe, and I think that's really valuable. And where would you like to see women in the future of politics? I mean, we need more of them, but when by? We need more of them, but I actually do not believe in positive discrimination. All the women I know, met got in in 2005, got in because they deserved to be there like Anne Milton. And when I got into Parliament, the ones that were here were here because they'd done a damn good job. What you need to do is encourage other women, because I would never have thought to stand to be a Member of Parliament if my Member of Parliament hadn't actually said, how about it? We often just don't think to ask other people to get involved. We should be asking more women to get involved. And uh, you've been in since 2005. How do you feel Parliament has changed in regards to representing women or the views of women from a man's point of view? It's not a female-friendly world if you've got small children. I absolutely have my hat off to people who can work this with small babies. It's long and friendly hours. I know it says it's not, but it is sometimes. It's tough, particularly if you're in one of those commuting seats in, you're going to spend a long time getting to work. But I don't think anyone here wants to hear a whinger. You've got to be able to compete on an equal footing with the men, and we do. And I think the, it's, uh, the expenses, they've got to look at this, because believe me, they're making this a rich man's game, and I would hate to see that. I want to see people from all backgrounds get me here. And finally, what message would you give to all the women thinking about running out there? Just go for it. You Brilliant. Feel, you feel proud when you win, and you will win if you put your heart in it. Fantastic. Thank you so much.